Marion Barry, Pride Incorporated, Mary Trevor were focused on education. And they created a partnership with the American University back in 1969. At the time, I was leading a group of about 35 uh, young men, uh, ages 14 to 21, and we would clean the public housing projects in Barry Farms and Stanton Gardens public housing projects. We learned about this program for college at American University. Now, no one in my family ever graduated from college, and for most of us in that group, we had never even thought about college. But we kept talking to the staff about it. We heard it prior to starting this program at American University. Can we take the test? They said, no, you're in high school. You can't take the test. We said, let us take the test. We can pass it. So they allowed 10 of us to take the test, and all of us were admitted to American University while we were in high school. And the, uh, the wonderful story that I share with young people so many times about uh, Marion Barry and Pride Incorporated is they picked us up at the corner of 16th and U Street, put us in the back of a truck, and drove us up Massachusetts Avenue. As I was riding up Massachusetts Avenue, I saw manicured lawns and fountains and big homes. I said, is that somebody's house? Is this Washington? I said, yes, it's Washington, D.C. And, and here's the thing about Pride I wanted to mention. They had a philosophy that they taught everyone self-help, self-respect, economic self-sufficiency. Take pride in yourself uh, in terms of self-help, do as much as you can for yourself, economic self-sufficiency, be fully self-sufficient. And those things carried me throughout college and into my career as a lawyer and work I did in Northern Virginia and ultimately becoming a judge. And the beauty of it was we were cleaning up our own communities. We were working and earning funds that we could take home. We didn't have to hustle. We were actually giving back to our community in a way and learning how to work. I mean, the idea is you say, well, doesn't everybody know how to work? No, you don't. Learning how to show up on time. Learning how to take responsibility for work. Taking pride in your work. And knowing it didn't matter because you go into a community that was trash and, and dirt and you clean up and look good and you felt proud of it. I remember telling my dad, you know, I don't want to be a street sweeper the rest of my life. He said, well, Jerry, good work does not go unnoticed. And before long, I was a supervisor. And then opportunities opened for me to, to join the staff. 